power for your zero hour. Tim Amatoso Global Outreach is an apostolic prophetic ministry designed on the Trinitarian auspices to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ to this generation with signs following. Come and experience strength for your stress and power for your zero hour. Say never. never. God is pregnant. God. Say tonight. tonight. God is pregnant. God is pregnant. Amen. Amen. Say big amen. amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. All over me is moving me around, it's moving me around, it's moving me around, it's all over me, it's moving me around. The only ghost fire is moving me around. The Holy Ghost fire is moving me around. The Holy Ghost fire is moving me around. Amazing grace. Get ready for that. Get ready for that. How sweet the sound the Savior a wretch like me. I once once lost <laughs> but now I'm fine was blind but now I see <laughs>
amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I won't want lost But now I'm fine See that now, come on, maybe see that. Give Jesus a mighty, 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 mighty hand of praise. Mighty, mighty hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Ah, oh, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Amazing grace. How sweet. The son that saved a wretch like me. We thank you, Father, for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to tell you something quickly in the, in the scripture, and that is um, the subject of faith. Say faith. faith. Someone say louder. Faith. Say faith. In the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11, Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. I said again, faith, he says, now faith, say now faith. now faith. I want it to be very, very loud. Come and say, now faith, now faith. is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen that is the number one information about faith in my discovery as a Christian I realized that faith as per what we just read is a risk come and say risk, risk. say faith is a risk I want to hear people speak like thunder. Come on. Faith is a risk. Faith is a risk. Come on. Say it again louder. Faith is a risk. And it is risky. And it is risky. 
not to take a risk. Say faith, faith is, a is a risk. And it is risky not to take a risk. Say it again. Say faith is a risk. And it is risky not to take a risk. All right, the Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You give it an evidence of the things you do not see. That is a lie. Where you want to say, I want to speak the truth. Anything that is negative is a lie. Did you hear me? So faith is saying, I have a substance of the things which I am open for. Now I'm going to give the evidence of the things I did not see. People give evidences in the law court based on what they saw. But when faith comes in, faith is not going to operate by sight. In other words, every negative thing you have seen in your entire life is not existing. There is power tonight. I'm telling you, I'm saturated. There's power tonight. If you are blind, faith says you can see. You don't understand what I'm saying? That is what faith entails. Faith is speaking about something that is positive. Faith does not believe in negativity. And the Bible says it is now that faith is the substance of things hoped for. You hoping for something. I remember in 1994, I dreamt and I saw, I've told you this one before. I dreamt and I saw myself in a place which faith will not allow me to speak. As a man of faith, I've learned how to watch what I say and how I say it. A man who has no faith speaks carelessly. You talk carelessly. But tonight God is bringing the spirit of faith upon your life in the mighty name of the risen Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Now I'm going to read verse 6. Go with me to verse 6. This is very serious. It says, but... It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. In other words, you singing, you praying, you fasting, but you have no faith. You fasting, but you, are no, you have no faith. You singing, you have no faith. You come into church regularly, but you have no faith. Because you have no faith, Coming to church regularly is void. What is faith? God speaks. And I take it the way it is. If the word of God says, go into the fire. That is faith. A natural man will say, fire can burn. A man of faith will say, God has power to make fire cool you down that's faith did you hear what i'm saying and because of this the bible says the elders the forefathers our foremothers they received a good report is anybody hearing me it says now faith is the substance not worse it now says in verse 6, but without 
faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God, for he that cometh to God, hear this, must believe that God must believe that he is. Who is he? God is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, I tell something. Prophet Tim Omoto Show will be back shortly. Why not visit our online store at www.teamomotoshow.org. You can order copies of today's message, as well as other books, DVDs and CDs by the man of God. A set of seven prayer books is available, one for each day of the week. Remember, every day has its own evil. These prayer books will help you overcome. Log on to www.teamomotoshow.org or call us on plus two seven eight two seven zero eight nine seven nine one. Faith is foolishness. Any man who is wise can never have faith. If you go with me to the book of First Corinthians quickly. I saw something now. God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Are you around? From verse 23. I might even have to read from verse 21. For after that in the wisdom of God, the word by wisdom knew not God. By the wisdom that the word produces, the whole world produces, people did not know God by the wisdom of this world. We only know physics, chemistry, biology, and what have you. But when you bring in faith, Faith brings the wisdom of this world to nothing. I show something. Here it is. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Then what did God do? It pleased God. Say, it pleased God. I just want people to, to, I mean, I want something. I, I want people to be lively. Are you around with me? Yeah. Say, it pleased God. No, I wonder. By the foolishness, underline that, by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. There's something called foolishness of preaching. Now, I came to the pupit. You call me prophet. You call me pastor. And uh, professionally, I'm not supposed to leave the pupit. I'm supposed to stand like this. God is going to make you big. God is good. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. That is the wisdom of this world. I was told in my Bible college, we should stand and be focused. But when the foolishness of preaching came in, I have anybody in this auditorium here. <laughs> when the foolishness, no, God is speaking here. He says, it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save if I want to save people, I must use the foolishness of preaching, not the wisdom of preaching. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, we were taught to stand. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord. 
if you are bending your hand too, too much, they say you are a sinner. You have to stay pure, just stay. So that God can answer your prayer. That is the wisdom of this world. Which we all were taught in the Bible college. Pupit means pulling people out of the pit. It's not push pit. So when you stand behind the pupit and you preaching behind, you are becoming a messenger of pupit. But by the foolishness of preaching, which the Bible records in your Bible, everyone watching me, it's written in black and white. <laughs> as long as you have made up your mind to walk for God, to move with God under the wisdom of this world, you will never please him. That is what I mean. Are you around with me? Oh, come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Here it is. Are you following? Yeah. All right. Are you around? Yeah. Now go to verse 22 with me. Now here it is in 21. It's pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. 22. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ. In other words, in order for you to preach Christ, you must preach the foolishness of preaching. All right? But Christ, the anointed one, I mean, anointed. Now, hear this. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews, a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks, foolishness. But unto them which are called. Both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. I love verse 25 because the foolishness of God. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> God tried all his wisdom. And God did not succeed himself in his wisdom. He now said, let me try foolishness. In other words, faith is foolishness. I saw some things now. I just saw something. I, I, I cannot help but refer something to you. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. I thank God for you, okay? I thank God for you. I show something. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. A professor came to me one day. A professor of brain whose daughter was insane. The wisdom of this world made him a professor the foolishness of God <clears throat> hallelujah man of God my daughter is insane is studying pharmacy in the university. I've tried as a medical man with all the wisdom I acquired in sciences. My wisdom has failed me. Can you do anything? I say I have the answer. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer. Write to us. Send us an email. You can do all these and much more by simply logging on to www.teamomotoshow.org. That's www.teamomotoshow.org. Prophet Tim Omotoshow is the senior pastor of Jesus Arena International.